We don't know what happens between where it grows, where it's being packed and shipped, and when it hangs up on the table. Obviously, cooking with the best ingredients, the most local you can get, creates a sense of community that you do not get when you go shop in a supermarket. We need to get to the point where buying organic food, buying local and sustainable, is not an exception, becomes the rule. Most of the students that come in don't know how to cook, and therefore they eat what is presented to them and uh, what is presented to them is not all the time good and uh, we basically try to bring food to a professional level. It's one of my things is in order to have people eating well they need to have some kind of emotional investment in what they eat and there is nothing better than actually make it yourself. Chefs have a voice and we're making an effort to use local sustainable. We're supporting small growers and small business and if we're seen there, not at our local grocery store, then maybe the general public will follow. So we are at the Santa Monica market which is uh, probably the most prominent market in LA. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're just gonna walk around, see what we have in the market and then if you guys want to do anything in particular or inspired by something fancy, then we get it. Today when we went to the farmer's market, the kids were surprised at the variety of stuff that is there and some of the stuff they never seen before. Some of them tasted produce that was very fresh, like literally picked from the plant. Did you see the finger lime? That was amazing. And it's crunchy, so it's like texture. I know, and it's like, it pops in your mouth and you're like, no way. <laughs> it looks completely different. The juice is contained in all of these vesicles. Instead of um, drenching lime juice, you would eat these and bite into it. Pretty much it was a new experience for me to see like what kind of products they had and produce I could like get fresh. We have just purchased a bunch of beautiful fresh ingredients from the Santa Monica Farmer's Market and we're going to cook lunch. Cooking is attractive. For, for many reasons. Everybody eats, obviously, so everybody is an expert. When everything revolves around convenience, you know, the ritual of food is not convenient anymore, then you are forced to actually buy stuff that is prepackaged for you. We need to go back to that. I'm not saying that it's easy, I'm not saying that it's gonna happen overnight, but there, there are a lot of forces out there that are confusing the issue. So this is a ceviche that we uh, prepare using some of the, the shrimp, baby shrimp, that are easily found in, uh, in the supermarket. And that uh, they actually garnish with uh, lemon cucumbers and uh, finger lime. Then we have a garden salad of Lolo Rosso, Frise and Lolo Verde with baby pineapple tomatoes and French feta. This is our grilled chicken, marinated in lime and some herbs and that there is brown rice. We use brown rice instead of white rice for garnish. And the salsa, it's like a tropical salsa. It's a jujube. And then we have a apple and quince galette with a lavender ice cream. The bottom sauce there is actually a raspberry sauce. And then we have a little fruit salad with all the fruit that we purchased. And a season with some of the syrup that we use to cook the, the apples and the quince in. I think that the major issue is that people think that food is a time-consuming proposition. You come home after a long day, you don't really want to think about, now I'm gonna cook a three-course meal. But you could put together a meal very easily in half an hour. There is always a degree of involvement in it that obviously gives you pride too, you know, it might sound a little corny, a little cheesy, you know, but definitely if you actually make it and you can eat it and it's good, it's like something that you want to keep doing.